don't you all fade away Don't try to dig what we all Welcome to the 60s Back in the good old days like your parents told you When there was peace and not war When there was love and not hate But was it as good as they make out? They had music iconics that, that people only dreamed about. Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, The Who, The Rolling Stones. But was it a better time as what it is today? Just because drugs were legal doesn't make it a bad time. Just because we've illegalised drugs, does that make it that we don't do it anymore? That's what we're going to find out. Which generation was better? Help! I need somebody! Help! Not just anybody! Help! You know I need someone Help! When, when I was young, was so I much was younger young, than today I never, need I never needed anybody's help in any way now, But now these days are gone and I'm gone. not so self-assured sure. now, now I find I've changed my mind the 60s was a great time, but do you know enough about the 60s to really make a decision as to whether it was better than what it is now? But how are you ever going to find out about the 60s? Yeah, sure, you can research about the iconic stars. Yeah, sure, we won the World Cup in 1966. Yeah, sure, the first English team won the 1968 Champions League. Man United, just saying. But do you know enough about it? Can you ask your stepdad, or your dad, or your mum that grew up in the 60s? But even then, do they know enough about it? News and the media was not as good as it was back then. Everyone knows it. We read too much into every single detail. If there's a bomb blown up in Afghanistan, we know about it. But did they? Was that one of the reasons why it was so peaceful? Is it just because people didn't know what was going on? You know, people in Manchester, did they know about the riots in Brighton? Let's find out. We're going to talk to my stepdad, who grew up in the 60s. He was, he went to the 1966 World Cup. He was also at the Champions League final. So, let's see what he's got to say. Yeah, yeah, we're looking crazy. It was a thriving town. Lovely town. It had shops and, oh, it was a really big town. It had three cinemas. And everyone went to Grays. They'd get the bus to go to Grays. Avely Village was a nice village. Now look at it. It looks like the ramshackle remains a tombstone, it's just a dump. And Grey's ain't a lot better now, is it? There's nothing in Grey's. Well, we had the small faces, the Kinks, all them. Yeah, they, they were, were bigger bands, they became more famous. Yeah. Beatles, Rolling Stones, there's hundreds, hundreds. All the, all the Liverpool scene, the Hollies from Manchester, there was just dozens of bands. And they were all big, and everyone got to know about them because Radio 1 never played their music, but we had pirate radio stations, offshore radio. So all the DJs leave BBC, get more money, get a boat out to the offshore stations like Radio City, uh, Radio Caroline, and um, they'd like live out there for a couple of days broadcasting music, till it actually all got shut down, the government shut it down. I used to earn three pound a week. I could go everywhere on that, up to London, Saturday night, come home, two o'clock, get the last train home. Sometimes we go Sunday, go over to Romford, Wickham Hall, marijuana, and that's common as muck now. But then I didn't need to, I like the music, so I didn't have to go out and get smashed and that, just to listen to the music. I used to go out all the time, it was never in. And, um, I've carried on smoking for about six or seven years and uh, we used to be able to go, if we had run out of fags, we could get up and walk down to the shop and on the wall outside was a cigarette machine and you used to put your money in it, turn the knob and out had come your cigarettes. You used to walk home. Can you imagine now? The cigarette Smashed. machine would be down the road <laughs> with all the cigarettes and the money. It just wouldn't happen. No. Back in the good old days. In mind, I'll tell you right now, any trick in the book and I'll be bound. All that I can find. Everybody's hustling just to have a little scene. When I say we'll be cool, I think that you know what I mean. Back in the good old days. But how good was it? 
No one's going to know unless we try it for ourselves. I'm going to spend a week living in the 60s as best as possible. There's going to be certain things that I can't do and I have to do, but the main one will be the technology. I can't use a phone, I can't use a laptop, and I can't use my PS3 or any type of TV that isn't 60s related. So no, nothing other than BBC and Channel 3, which is ITV one now, or films or TV programs that were made in the 60s. It's going to be difficult. At the moment, I think the 60s weren't all that. The music was great, but the 60s weren't all that. Let's see if my opinion changes. This is day five. It's day three. It's just second day. Day one. Day six. This is the last day. Oh, I've got nothing to do. Oh, I've got the Beatles. I've got one game of solitaire and that was it. I've got a pack of cards. <laughs> Not done much of them, to be perfectly honest. This is quite embarrassing. It's a special moment. When things are going bad when you get chucked out of your own classroom. Yeah? <laughs> Life has hit rock bottom. See that record? Uh -huh. The Chelsea team in 1967. The Liverpool team. I'm getting through that one. We've got every little record here. I've got this ready to see that. Okay, so it's um, day one of uh, living in the 60s. Um, I haven't got no phone. I haven't had no phone for 24 hours now. Um, no laptop, nothing. My lava lamp, it's all sat ready. Uh, these are some of the books I've been reading, just to keep myself occupied. And then uh, some uh, psychedelic records, 100 greatest. Um, yeah, so from now on, I'm probably just sit here, read some more. A bit of writing. I got nothing to do. Just going through the drawers and um, found a pack of cards. Hopefully that will last me until dinner. So it's high on up the Beatles. Uh, trying my best again. Okay, so it's the first lesson. Um, not done much of them, to be perfectly honest. I really don't like this writing thing. Last one um, is a letter. Put the paper ready. I've got an empty room. I haven't written a letter since primary school, so I've actually forgot how to. Okay, so the letter's all done. Um, let me see it. Okay. So I'm going to send that. I don't even know where the nearest post box is. Just done a focus group, and um, everyone's uh, just finished. I can still play football, though. Well, you know when things are going bad when you get chucked out of your own classroom, don't you? Yeah, so basically they've uh, they've had to um, show a screening of some sort so to break up the day. But obviously I can't watch it because it's modern technology. Well, I've just been sitting here and um, I kind of realised that I haven't been talking to you about how it's been going. Uh, I've only been telling you what's been going on. I've not really done anything much different really. Yesterday I biked down from college just like normal, but uh, biked down from work just like normal, so that weren't really a challenge. It was mainly the evenings that I've been finding quite hard. The, the max have been quite hard, not being able to go on any max at college or like handwritten. My hand hurts and I'm tired of writing now. Yeah, this is my shed table of luck. From the 60s. So, this is the new improved bedroom. Thanks. Yeah, so it's day three, it's just gone half past, and uh, I'm college really, really early. Um, Mum offered me a lift, but I had to refuse it, um, because of the whole 60s crappy thing. Um, I decided to uh, sort of get into the 60s a bit more and uh, find carry on regardless. Please try and control yourself. My fifth marriage has just ended. What's that got to do with it? Oh, to the devil with my rehearsal. Console me. Have pity on me. This time it's rather silly. Yeah, yeah. I've never wished my life away, but this week is dragging really, really slowly. I've found myself. I've carry on finished. Now I'm watching something called The One Show on BBC One about how bras were made. The 65 Oscar winning actually. Okay, so it's day five, um, two more days left. 
before the week started, I was really dreading it. You know, I thought, oh, what am I going to be able to do? I'm not going to be able to do nothing. They couldn't do nothing in the 60s, you know. It's not been too sad. It's been all right. I think the main the main thing about it, which they wouldn't have had to deal with in the 60s, so it had been a fine, is the fact that technology's around me. Um, so I think being teased with technology is, is quite difficult. And I suppose that's how the generation got on. You know, um, technology evolved and people were teased with this new stuff. So I can understand how we've evolved and I can understand why we've evolved. But I don't know, maybe going back to the roots isn't such a bad idea. That's what we've got time for. Did you prefer today or did you prefer back in the 60s? You need to make your decision. Or do you? Can you not just say that there's parts of the 60s that you liked and there's parts of today that you liked? But do you like the technology? These are questions you've got to ask yourself. These are questions that I can't answer for you, I'm afraid. In my personal opinion, I like the music in the 60s and quite frankly I would like to live in the 60s. I think that this week has shown me that the 60s, just because I didn't have laptops, just because I didn't have mobile phones, was still a great time for communities. It was a great time to meet up with your friends and make new friends. I think gradually as technology is going on, we are losing touch with the communication and, and getting in with new crowds. That's my opinion. No one told me about her The way she lied Well, no one told me about her How many people cried But it's too late to say you're sorry How would I know? Why should I care? Please don't bother trying to find her She's not there